Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to be reviewing an iPhone app on my brand new iPhone 3GS. I'm breaking this guy in in terms of doing videos. I've been using it quite a bit and uh, I'm more than happy with it. But today I'm going to be talking about Beehive. That's Beehive IM. And Beehive IM is one of the premier IM clients. It's spelled B-E-E. J I V E. It's one of the premier clients out there, and it's by Beehive Incorporated. Um, for a while, it was going for like 15 bucks, and a lot of people was like, "Oh, that's overpriced. That's just way too much for an iPhone app." But uh, Beehive 3.0 came out, and it's nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and it supports push notifications, which was one of the big features in iPhone 3.0 OS. So Beehive I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm just going to demonstrate it for you and try to talk through some of the features. There's a ton of features in Beehive I am and uh, I, I really, I don't know if I have time to talk about everything so I'm going to do my best to, um, to basically jump through the big things that I liked about it. So I did pay for this, I didn't get a free review copy, this is actually something I paid for out of my pocket and uh, I was dying to try out the push notifications so I'm gonna go ahead and launch it it looks like a honeycomb and uh, you know for the beehive type deal uh, and I have a bunch of buddies in my contact list that I'm hiding because I don't want to share with the world my buddy list but uh, what you see here is the buddy list broken out by groups it's your typical I am type of deal but you can search your buddy list by tapping on the our, uh, the uh, magnifying glass at the top left and then you can type in a name say if I want to find the friend feed I am bot which is what I'm going to be demonstrating it with I just type in friend feed and it pops right up so let's cancel that uh, you can add favorites there's a favorites button at the bottom that's what I tap down there and th you can add favorite buddies if you have a, a common set of buddies out there uh, also you can list your chats these are my current chats that are going on it, it keeps a log of your of your recent chats and you can add different accounts right now I just have my my Google talk I am account don't worry I don't care if you guys have it um, I'll probably d be denying your request <laughs> but uh, I don't care if you guys know that everybody knows my email address um, and you can add different accounts so I've taken out all my other accounts and I just kept this one for demonstration purposes and there's a bunch of settings in the more in the more part where you can set wallpaper there's some support stuff you can list buddies by account you can list buddies by group that kind of stuff set wallpaper has a set of stock wallpapers that you can choose from or you can go into your photo albums and I already have a bunch of iPhone wallpapers to choose from I can go to rubber ducky here and if I go to chats you'll see that the background has been updated to the rubber ducky rubber ducky rules <laughs> so I'm going to get out of the application real quick and I'm going to go into the general settings because there's a bunch of hidden stuff in here. If you go to settings and scroll down to Beehive, there's a, there's a section in here under settings that a lot of people tend to ignore with applications. I don't know what's going on. Meta context, I'm not sure what that is yet. Uh, I was looking around and I was like, what, what is meta context? It's on, but okay, it's on. <laughs> You can use groups. That's turned on by default. Uh, hide offline contacts. You can turn that on or off. Uh, you can sort by status or by display name. Uh, here we have how many messages you can preview in the list when I go to chats. This is the chat section. Uh, the chat list transition. It has a flip effect and it also has a slide effect that you can choose from. Autocorrect, auto capitalization, allow landscape typing. That's an option in here. You can do landscape typing. You can turn on or off emoticons. You can enable shake. That'll shake it and you can switch chats. If you got multiple chats going on, I'm, I'm gonna try to demonstrate that. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can do different um, different chats and you can shake the phone and it'll, uh, it'll switch to it. And you can adjust the sensitivity, that's cool. Um, you, notifications and alerts. This is the new stuff here. You got send IM sound, received IM sound, vibrates, sounds. They have different sound themes. You have AIM, MSN, and Yahoo. And uh, you also have ringer when inactive. You can choose the theme or you can have these these ringer pops, these things that are here. Uh, the user, Like I said, it's a lot of options in here. User interface layout, the color scheme, table divider. Uh, you know, when you send files, you can you can post a link or you can you can save. I mean, auto away network and push. Here's push alerts. You can do the email alerts that was before push notifications, or you can do the push notification stuff in the push notification section. Uh, so if I go down to let's see, I'm gonna go to notifications. There's a beehive section in push notifications here, 
and you can tell it to do sounds, alerts, and badges for Beehive I am. So let me go back here and uh, let's go back to the spotlight. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to go into friend feed chat. This is my friend feed stream, a bunch of stuff going on. Right now it's paused, but I'm going to say resume so I can get some of my notifications coming in over Google Talk. And it says notifications resume there, and they're starting to come in. So this is showing me all the comments and new articles on friend feed. And uh, let me see if I can get it to give me a pop up alert. Uh, I'm going to lock the screen here. I wait a couple seconds and it should give me an aim sound there you go and you see it popped up with the IM notification what the message was uh, who it's from and all that stuff and basically the contents of that message so if I slide to go into it it'll take me into here because I already had the app loaded but if I had to uh, if I if I was in another app it will say do you want to view it or do I want to close the window so this is a chat preview I'm gonna go ahead inside the chat there we go and uh, I can post a message here um, actually I forgot how to post messages here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and consult the help it's gonna give me the commands I believe it's just post and the queue is building up there I got a lot of stuff coming in here so it's probably gonna go to bloom 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 here it comes here it here it yep yep there it comes See that message failed to send. It has an X through it. So I'm going to tap on that and do resend. And there you go. So basically to post to my feed, I do at me and then I'll post to my feed. So I'm going to say at me doing a demonstration. A demonstration. I always misspell that. Of beehive I am. Oh, capital M for iPhone. There you go. I'll capitalize the D here. Oh, let's get the cursor up there and go back. Capital D. So I'm doing a demonstration of Beehive IM for iPhone. I'm going to send that. And it's reconnecting. Looks like there was a send message error. Oops. Hit enter. Let's try that again. Okay. And it says you shared demonstration of doing a beehive I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Uh, I can I can view these links either in Safari Web View. I'm glad I did that. I can show you how links are handled, or I can forward the link. So I'm gonna go ahead and view it in Web View so I don't have to leave the application. It's gonna be a fairly simple page. I don't need anything special. And there it is. It says doing a demonstration of beehive I am for the iPhone on my friend feed um, stream. And it's uh post it so that's beehive I am I mean it, it, it supports aim it supports uh, let's go to the accounts and I can show you what it supports um, it supports aim mobile me Google talk ICQ jabber MSN Windows live myspace I am <gasps> Yahoo messenger and Facebook I am all of these are supported with beehive I am and I gotta say guys this thing is worth 10 bucks if you are serious about I am I'm telling you it, it has everything you could possibly think of and it's well done. It's elegant and it has a very smooth, clean interface. Very, very cool for the iPhone. This is Beehive I Am by Beehive Incorporated. It is $10 on the iTunes App Store. I'll put the link in the show description so you can check it out for yourself. This is Born from Born.tv. This is Beehive Push Notifications. I Am Goodness on iPhone 3.0.